In linear equations, sometimes you're going to be asked to find the equation of the line, and you need two pieces of information, and it's one of these two. One is you need a slope and one set of ordered pairs, or you need two sets of ordered pairs. And with those, your first priority is always to find slope, and then from there, you can plug things in to find the equation of the line or find the y-intercept. So you have two options. One is using the slope-intercept form or using the point-slope equation form. So if we start with, say we're given the slope of negative 8 and the ordered pair of negative 3 and 23. Well, I have to find out what is the y equals mx plus b equation that has this first slope and has the line passing through this point. So what, what we can do is if we plug in our y equals mx plus b template, well, I know a y value, 23, m is negative 8, x is negative 3 plus b. So now, since I have this template found, all I have to do is find solve for b. So negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. So 23 equals 24 plus b. Now to isolate b, I have to get rid of the 24 off of both sides, which leaves me with a negative 1. So b equals negative 1. Now I have a slope and my y-intercept. I can plug it into y equals negative 8x minus 1. I just put, plug in the slope and the y-intercept that I found, leaving the x and y as variables so that I can plug in other x values, find an output for its corresponding y for the equation of the line. So the first example gave us slope and one ordered pair. Now this example gives us just two ordered pairs. And the first thing we have to do, find slope. So I'm going to say 5 minus 2, because y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's really important you make sure that you're doubling up the negatives and not just plugging in the negative 4 there. It's a minus the second ordered pair value which is negative 4. So uh, this turns into positive 4. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. 4 plus 4 is 8. So our slope is 3 eighths. Now that we have a slope, we then choose one of these ordered pairs that we want to plug into our slope-intercept equation, like the first example had done. I like to work with positives wherever possible. It just kind of makes things easier. So I'm going to go y equals m x plus b. All right, so I need to go ahead and simplify this. Whenever I have a fraction times a whole number, I need to turn it into that whole number into a fraction because fractions are snobs and they only like to work with other fractions. Then I can cross cancel the eight into a two, the four into a one, and guess what? One over one turns into one, so this means I have three halves plus b equals 5. Now I have to subtract 3 halves away from both sides. So I have a 5 minus 3 halves. Well, I can't subtract a whole number and a half uh, or and a fraction. I mean, you could mental math this. 3 halves is 1 and a half. If I have 5 and I take 1 and a half away, guess what? I have 3 and a half which would be the, the lazy, quick way to do it. Uh, and then you don't ever have a mixed number. We have to convert this back to uh, an improper fraction. So 2 times 3, 6 plus 1 is 7 halves equals b. So my slope was 3 eighths. My y-intercept is 7 halves. So my final equation is y equals 3 eighths x plus 7 halves halves. Um, you could have gone ahead and done find the lowest common denominator, which would have been 2. So we multiply this by 2, this by 2 to give me 10 halves minus 3 halves, and then, oops, that's not a 7, and to get 7 halves. We got there either way. If, if you can do a shortcut like this, it doesn't hurt, uh, but it is good to double check it in the kind of the old school way.
as well. And then the final example we'll look at is the point slope, uh, uh, the point slope form. The point slope formula is an equation that once you simplify it, you have your y equals mx plus b format. So there's a positive in that, whereas if you use the slope intercept formula, you have to independently solve for slope, independently solve for the y intercept, and then plug them both into an equation. This just, when simplified, is that final equation. So if you have simple enough numbers, this can be really efficient, but people also get overwhelmed by how many elements there are in the formula itself. So you just have your, your stock y value, nothing gets plugged into there, minus a y value equals your slope times x minus your known x value. So if we start off with, we're given a slope of nine, negative 9 sevenths and an ordered pair of 6 and 2, we just plug in the known values that we have y minus 2 equals m, negative 9 sevenths, times x minus x's value, okay? So for the homework, all it wants you to do is just this. Plug in your known values into the places it gives you. Uh, but if we actually wanted to go ahead and solve this, we want to make sure you know how to do that as well. So for starters, we distribute that so negative 9 sevenths x is negative 9 sevenths x then we got to go 9 sevenths negative well actually i'm i have a negative times a negative which means it's positive i'm just gonna save myself some signs and not just know that my answer is positive so i'm gonna dump that um times six over one i cannot cross cancel anywhere so i have to just multiply straight across, which gives me a 7, and 9 and 6 is 54, cross my fingers, that's right, uh, so plus 54 sevenths. Now I have a y minus 2, I need to get the y by itself, so I have to add 2 to both sides, so y equals negative 9 sevenths x plus 52 sevenths plus 2. Well, now we got to go 50... 4 over 7 times 2 over 1. Uh, 54 twice is going to be 108 over 7. Well, that's ugly, but it should be correct. So y equals negative 9 sevenths x plus 108 over 7. Don't freak out when you see really ugly problems like this. It's correct, okay? Um, tr tr trust your math, um, and also when you plug it into the homework, it'll tell you whether you got it right or wrong. But this is kind of that introduction. If you do not have a slope, and you're supposed to put this in slope, point slope formula, you gotta find your slope first. I think I've said that a few times, broken record. Uh, find slope, plug in some ordered pairs, get your equation of the line.